this is your goal. You can definitely play it at a faster speed, but that would be the goal that I'm looking for for the tremolo and for the arpeggio. So we didn't learn the arpeggio um, because two, two of the other students already did that study. Uh, so we just went into the tremolo. So I sent you over uh, both. I think you should actually look at the arpeggio first because you've never done this piece. The arpeggio the whole time is the same. It goes thumb with ring, then middle, then index. Okay, so that's your pattern. You start, that's the first beat. So we have one, then the second beat, no thumb, just ring, middle, index. And then the third beat, ring, middle, index. So it's three beats per measure. So we have beat one is always with the bass. Beat two, no bass. Beat three, no bass. And then when you start over again, with the bass. So practice this. that then this is what you're going to keep consistent in the right hand the whole time the left hand just moves so it starts off the fingering I'm showing you the way that I play it you can use different fingering but I do fourth the pinky on the seventh fret keep all your fingers together make sure they're not out so they help out the pinky so you're going to start with then again now we're back on beat one then I use the second finger here, and then I use the second finger again here. Then we start again. Then we start over. Second finger here, second finger here, and then pinky. Now here I keep the pinky, and I slide. I'm ready for the bar here so it makes it very easy to shift to this bar so now you're gonna lay down only half of the strings one two and three and you're gonna switch your bass now for the first time to the string five okay so this is a minor chord so you have and then again but now come back up and then from there you're gonna do on seventh fret a full bar and you're gonna add the second finger over to string three on the eighth fret. So you have this. If you're playing six, one, two, sorry, three, two, one, those would be your notes. So here we go back to bass six and we go, and then we take our third finger, bring it to the eighth fret also, and then lift it. And then we take our pinky and we go to fret 11. Now we start with the bass because we're on beat one again. And then back with the ring finger and then just the bar. So that's the most difficult part because you have a big stretch here. Okay, then you're gonna go, it goes back to cut the beginning section, which is seven, with the pinky I use here, and then use second finger, second finger again, and then start again. And then to end it, we go to B7 chord. And we play bass five. And then now we play bass four, okay? And we have, and then we move the pinky up for beat two, and then we put it back for beat three. And then we go to E minor, and to end the whole thing, we play the bass for every beat. But we start with bass four, then we go to bass five, then we go to bass six, but with the pinky. Once you have that and you feel comfortable with that, then I would jump into the tremolo. So the tremolo technique, what you can practice now until you have this romanza down, is um, the tremolo technique you're going to be playing. We, we, we did A, M, I on one string. So you can just play thumb and just get used to this. And then you can also, you want to keep it very even, so you can actually practice all of it on one string. So you would go thumb, ring, middle, index, P, A, M, I. Everything free show here. You kind of have no choice for the thumb. Okay, and we did a little exercise chromatic, so we did...
jumped. And then we jumped here. Okay, that was our exercise for tremolo, so you can practice that. Once you feel like you understand the tremolo technique, then you're going to implement it with the romanza. Now, when you do that, it's a little bit different. Instead of being three beats per measure, it's going to be six beats. So what happens here is you two, one, then you go to the third string, two, then you go to the second string, three, then back to the third string for beat four, and then back to the second string, and then back to the third. Those are your six. So your six bases are one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that stays consistent again throughout the whole song. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And in between each one, you're playing that tremolo on the first string. So you're going. Okay. So now what happens here is you play, you start with the pinky and you go. start again and you have now you're going to play two bases per note before you switch so now you're going to go then now you switch here and then now then you start over It goes four, three, five, four, six, five, and then that's it. So that's just the only change that we have there. Um, and once you get it at tempo, I wouldn't practice it super fast right now. Get it, try to just have all that in memory, understand the fingers, make sure they're working right. But then eventually it's more like strumming. You're going to think of the tremolo like your fingers are strumming, so you can play it as... 